Hi, this is Tony from Trechtenberg Speed Math. Today we're going to have a look at direct multiplication using two digit multipliers. When doing the direct multiplication, we use leading zeros. The rule for the leading zeros is to put as many zeros in front of the multiplicand as there are digits in the multiplier. For example, we have 3456 times 24. The multiplier is 24, it has two digits, so we put two leading zeros in front of the 3456. We have 2654 times 362. The multiplier is 362, it has three digits, so we put three leading zeros in front of the 2654. Here our multiplier is 4132. It has four digits, so we put four leading zeros in front of the multiplicand. While explaining the multiplication, we're going to have to put everything on the screen so that you can see what's going on. But a lot of it should actually be going on in your mind. So I've separated the screen into two parts. We have the on the page part, which is what you should be writing down. And then we have the in your mind. So everything that's down in this bottom half of the screen is what you should be thinking about, not actually writing down. One of the things we will have on the on the page section that you won't be writing down is the little indicator bars showing what pairs of uh, digits we're actually multiplying. See here we have the, the red line indicating the outer pair which goes from the 2 to the 1 which means we're multiplying the 2 by 1. And the blue line going from the 3 goes nowhere so that means we have nothing to do here. So the red line is actually what we call the outer pair and the blue line is the inner pair which we'll be using as we go through the multiplication. The red line indicates the outer pair and this always goes from the units digit of the multiplier to the digit in the multiplicand that we're actually going to write the answer down underneath. And as we go we keep moving across and that's the, the pattern that we'll be following today when doing the multiplication. It's very simple. Let's have a look at 83 times 59. So the first thing we do is put the two leading zeros and draw a line underneath because we'll be writing the answer down underneath the 83. The red line indicates our outer pair which gives us 9 times 3. The blue line actually goes nowhere so we can ignore that on this step. So the 9 times 3 is 27. So we write down the 7 and carry the 2. Now we extend our lines again, so it's, now it's 9 times 8, which is 72. This time the blue line goes from the 5 to the 3, so now we have 5 times 3, which is 15. Now we have to add the 2 that we carried to this, and altogether we get 89. So we put down the 9, carry the 8. Go to the next step, it's 9 times 0 is 0, so we can ignore that. Then we have the 5 times 8, which is 40. Now to this we have to add the 8 from the carry, which gives us 48. So we write down the 8 and carry the 4. We go to the next step. We have 9 times 0 is 0. We can ignore it. 5 times 0 is also 0. We can ignore that. But we have 4 from the carry, so we write down the 4. And there's our answer, 4,897. Very simple. We just write the answer down in one line. Let's have a look at another example. Let's have a look at 562 times 37. Put our two leading zeros and draw a line underneath. First step, we have 7 times 2. The blue line with the 3 goes nowhere. So 2 times 7, 14. So we write down the 4, carry the 1. We move across. Now we have 7 times 6 which is 42, and we have 2 times 3, which is 6. We also need to add the 1 from the carry, which gives us 49. So we write down the 9, carry the 4. Go on to the next step, we have 7 times 5, which is 35, and then the blue line, we have 3 times 6, which is 18. And to that we also have to add the 4 from the carry, adding those together, 
we get 57. We write down the 7 and carry the 5. Go on to the next step. 7 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. We have to add the 5 from the carry, so we have 20. So we write down the 0 and carry the 2. Then the final step, we have 0 times 7 is 0. We have 0 times 3, which is 0. But we have the 2 from the carry, so we have 2. So we write down the 2, and there's our answer. 20,794. This is very easy to follow. You just simply follow the pairs across until you get to the, the final zero, and that's the end of your answer. A little tip when going through this, you can actually use your fingers to keep track of the numbers that you're multiplying. So where we have the outer pair with the seven to the five, you can start with your fingers on the outer pair. So you have the seven times five, which is 35, and then you move your fingers in. So you have the three times six, which is 18. Now you know you've reached the limit because you, you've only got two digits on your multiplier and that's what controls how many pairs you have in the Trachtenberg system. So that's a, a, a simple little tip that you can use as you're getting used to it to follow along where you are. Thanks for listening. You can find out a lot more about the Trachtenberg system at trachtenbergspeedmath.com. There's free membership. There's hundreds of downloadable PDF worksheets. There's videos, and we're adding more all the time. You can learn the entire Trachtenberg system at our website. Bye for now.